What is going on, y'all? Robert Sykes, KetoSavage.com. Crystal Sykes, LadySavage.com. And today we're bringing you meatballs. Easy Anything as that. Anything fancy about them? Just meatballs. They're just meatballs. They're going to be great to store in the freezer if you need to store them in the freezer. Um, have them for massive amounts of people. Or just have a real simple, easy meal that's uh, meat dense. <clears throat> so, show you guys what we got. Two pounds of beef. Are those both the same blend? No, they are different. One is eight. Oh, one is eighty-five fifteen. One is ninety ten. Um, I tried to keep these a little bit more on the lean side as they're cooking. I don't want a whole bunch of fat cooking out um, because we want to keep it within the uh, meatball. So, um, two pounds of that. One cup of mozzarella cheese shredded. One half a cup of um, grated Parmesan, one half of a onion. This is one tablespoon of minced garlic and then two eggs. So what we're gonna wanna do, no, meatballs. Right. Crazy loon. Meatballs. Uh, let's get a spoon out of here. So we're gonna make sure that this is all rolling up those sleeves, preparing. Yeah, um, so the first thing we're going to do is actually just mix everything together, mix everything in. Um, I would probably do like the eggs or something first, get it all, um, wowzers. Look at that massive skills right there, one-handed. Massive skills. Boom. Oh, massive skills. A little calcium in there. Never hurt no one. All right, if you want to mix this together, I'll get us some seasonings that I forgot to grab. I'm gonna get a little bit of a garlic powder. Um, and... I feel like I'm supposed to be using my hands right now. You can. That's the only way to do it. Some Going savage with it. Redmond real salt. Can I put the other stuff in too? All right, a little bit of cheese. And some pepper. I did also dice the onions pretty small because you want it to blend in really well, so Make sure that you dice the onions pretty, pretty small. You don't like these, the garlic over here? No, I like it. I just hadn't gotten that for yet. Where's your hands at? Right here. You got it. <laughs> So while he's doing that, I'm gonna pour some, a little bit of oil in the pan. Um, and it doesn't, you don't need a bunch of oil because you are gonna cook out some of the fat that's in there. But I just want a little bit of lubrication on the pan. Make sure that's all mixed together really well. Um, you don't want to add in too, too much of the shredded cheese um, because it will actually cause more separation. So everything that you put in there, you want it to bind really well. So if you want more cheese, then I would suggest doing more of the, uh, the Parmesan, the grated Parmesan. I bet the uh, I bet pork panko would be pretty good in here too. Yeah, probably. Some people do pork panko. I'm sure people do like almond flour. Um, there's other things that can help bind it together, but I tried to go a little bit like flourless with this one. That works. All right, so now we can um, just take these and roll them into to balls pretty evenly. Robert's not very good at the whole evenly thing, um, but we're gonna roll them into balls and then fry them up in the pan. So why are we frying them and not baking them? Because sometimes it's nice to have them fried and not baked, but also, if you, that's why I have the sauce out here. Um, if you 
want to, um, if you want to have a little bit of the red sauce with your um, meatballs, then it's a really easy way to just stick them all in there, pour in some of the sauce, and are you going to help me roll these? Oh, I thought you said I wasn't good at rolling. No, you're not good at, at the sizing of them, but you can still help me. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you want to put in the red sauce, I would, after they're all pretty much done being cooked, then I would pour the red sauce on there and let it marinate for just a second and mm -hmm. serve it onto the plate. So we are just going to let these um, get cooked on one side, then we'll flip them over and kind of just keep flipping them until they're evenly cooked on all sides. Um, one of the reasons why I think these are awesome is they're just, so, if you don't pour a bunch of sauce on them, they're really easy to just stick into like a Ziploc bag or um, a Tupperware and take with you to work on the go for the kids if they just want something to snack on in the car. Um, just really easy to just pick up and bite into. So, um, and it's, it's going to be a lot more nutrient dense than a lot of the little snack items that are out there um, and you know exactly what's going in your food, so. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. All right, y'all, we are back. We still got these cooking, but these are done. We got some ketchup. Let's dive in. We need a fork or just go for it? No, they're meatballs. All right, finger food. I'm gonna try one without the ketchup and then one with the ketchup. Cheers. Oh. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Very moist. I'm digging it. Mhm. Mm yep. I do like that from kitchen ketchup though. I do too. Um, super moist and they definitely stay together very easily in the pan, so there's no issues with that at all. Mhm. Mm Mm hmm. They're very good. Trying to eat too much because I'm about to work out. But these are really good. I like how convenient they are. Yeah. This will be a really good grab and go thing for me that I'm going to just keep in the freezer. And then let them thaw out. Grab and go. They're so, so easy. So, mm -hmm. plan on making a lot of these in the near future. If you want to learn more about this recipe, or see the full breakdown, go to ketosavage.com and do the like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. Um, so, we'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Make yourself some meatballs. They're delicious, nutritious, and they don't taste like chicken, but they're really good. Um, so, we'll see y'all next time.